Greetings, and welcome back to the MCOC Encyclopedia. Today, we will be continuing our journey into Act 6, and by the end of this series, you should have everything you need to know to beat every quest. We won't be going for 100%, as I will just be covering which paths are easier. If multiple paths are an option, I will cover them all. Remember that these are just what I found easier, and your roster and experiences may vary. So let's dive in. Act 6, Chapter 2, Quest Number 1 Power's Purpose To those that have just got Cavalier, congratulations. The first story quest with your new title is more confusing than difficult, so let's rectify that. The global in this quest is a life cycle, and it can be a bit of a pain. The defender has a shield on them. Whilst the shield is up, they cannot be knocked out by any means, and if you try to do so, they will heal back up to 10% of their maximum health. If you knock them down, the shield is disabled for half a second. Each subsequent time you knock them down, though, it is disabled for an additional half a second, up to a maximum of three and a half seconds. It will go from blue to purple when you've hit the maximum duration. In addition to this, the defender will take no damage at all from any damaging debuffs, regardless of whether the shield is up or not. Other forms of red damage, such as Gallant's Harvest, Tiger's Special Burst, Scorpion's Sting Damage, other Power Stings, etc., all work fine. Note the difference here between being immune to them and taking no damage from them. This means the debuffs will still apply and can serve other functions. The best example of this is Immortal Abomination. If he can get his opponent to 10 poisons, he will convert them all into an acid burn. Immune means that he couldn't do this but takes no damage from, means he can. For our counters, anyone can take this node. Best thing to do is to play normally until the defender is at low health, then build to your special 3. Throw a heavy here and there to get the longer KO window if you can. Then, when you're in range, throw a heavy to disable the life cycle shield, and then drop your special 3. Assuming this has enough damage, then they'll be KO'd. Power gain champions, such as Hyperion or Vision Arcus, can help us reach that special 3 that bit faster. The other option that can beat this node are heal blockers. They will stop the opponent from regenerating, so they will just sit at one health point. This will let you knock them down, and then just tap them or their block for the KO. Some great options here, Mr. Fantastic, Void, his red energy damage will still work fine, Mysterio, though no poison damage, Warlock and his infections, and so on. Or you can use anyone that has lots of debuffs and the Despair Mastery, such as Null, OG Hulk, Shuri, Baron Zemo, and so on. Finally, Awakened Archangel gets a special mention. His bleeds and poisons will do no damage, but his neuros will. They will also heal block the opponent, so if you knock them down at low health, they will just KO themselves. In terms of the path, we actually have a few options. I personally believe that the easiest path is to go to Teleporter 14, and then to Path A. The only minor issue on this path is Captain Marvel movie, but most mystics will melt her without issue. OG Miss Marvel has 300% cornered, so no damaging debuffs versus her, and Ronan has Aspect of Death. Luckily his specials are very easy to deal with, so shouldn't pose much of a problem. This path is a little roster dependent though. All the defenders are Cosmic and Poison Mew. That means if you are planning on using Warlock, Mysterio, or Archangel, they won't be viable. But if you have pulled, for example, Doctor Doom, you're in for a good time. If you're happy fighting Korg, and I'll link my Korg video if you want to learn, then the 7A path could also be an option. They don't have any local nodes, just Oscillate and Ragnarok. Ragnarok isn't important, and Oscillate you've seen before, most notably on the 6.1.1 Sabretooth boss, though it has appeared in a few other places. If you don't mind Nick Fury, then going down the 9A path could also work for you. The only notable points here are 20% Limber on Hawkeye, and the Bleeds on Block from Black Panther Civil War. Use a Bleed Resistant or Immune Champion for him, and you should be fine. This quest has a Symbiote Supreme as the main boss, but we also have a Dormammu mini-boss to deal with. Dormammu's main issue here is Burden of Might, which will drain 25% of your max power each time a buff is nullified or expires. 
there is a long-standing bug in the game where the dex buff will trigger this twice when it starts and when it ends, so that is half of your maximum power each time you dex. Dismay we can ignore as long as we don't get hit, and soft guard will just cause us to take more block damage after each blocked hit. Any standard Dormammu counter can work here. Buff immune champions are a good starting point, such as Cassie Lang, Red Guardian, Spider-Man 2099, or Titania, though any high damage option that doesn't rely on specials can also work. Torch is a great example of this. His Nova Flames do work, despite the global. Buff immunity will help us, as when a buff expires on Dormammu, he has a chance to convert it into a passive degeneration. These don't stack, but the damage will really add up quickly. And if this video is helping you at all, please, degenerate that like button. Symbiote Supreme isn't a major issue. None of the nodes on him are that much of a problem, as long as you avoid stacking buffs on yourself, but you don't want to be doing this versus Symbiote Supreme anyway. Best champions to use here are ones with good power control or high damage. Mr. Fantastic Void and Archangel are our top options. Really anyone can deal with this global. The node is much more about playing around it rather than using the right champion. Any overpowered champion can still work, so just bring whoever you're comfortable with. For an ideal team, that really depends which path you're planning on taking. For the follow-up video, I will be taking the 14A path to the Miss Marvels, so that is the one I'll be focusing on. Given that this path is relatively simple, I will be able to focus on the mini and the main boss more. Archangel is a great option for many of the other paths, but we can't use him here due to them all being poison mute. A Mystic Champion will be helpful for us for bursting down Captain Marvel movie, so I will be bringing Doctor Doom for that. Mr. Fantastic is my preferred option for the boss, so he will be number two. Some minor synergies between these two, but nothing that important. The extra damage is always nice. For Dormammu, I will be bringing Spider-Man 2099, but any buff immune option can work well. Spider-Man 2099 can also be used as backup for the Symbiote Supreme main boss, as he also has some excellent power control. Number four on this team will be Torch. He is a backup for both the mini and the main boss, though I can only use him once, as I only get one Nova Flame. We'll have one slot left, and I'll be bringing Hyperion in with me to help cover the path. Doom can be used on the bosses, so this will give me two health pools to work with before we get there. Fairly soon after this video goes out, I will try and get up a short commentated video of me going through this path with the exact team I suggest above. It'll be much more relaxed, but should hopefully give some more insight into how I look around getting these problems. I will also start answering popular questions from the comments in that video, so please leave yours down below. As always, remember that this is story content. It won't be going anywhere anytime soon. If you get stuck here and find yourself spending lots of resources, stop and focus on something else. The monthly event quests and side quests are great places to pick up more materials, shards and units, as our battlegrounds and the arena. So that's it. Everything you need to know to clear all of 6.2.1. 6.2.2 is actually already out, as it was the first Act 6 video I did. The information is still good and relevant, and I will make sure that there is a follow-up video for that quest so we can go through the path together. Up next, we will be looking at Cersei and then 6.2.3. That is one of my favourite quests from Act 6, so I'm looking forward to doing that one. Keep an eye out for more announcements in the future so you can have your say in which defenders are covered. I also have a Discord server, so please go and join that. It's a great place to get specific advice, make suggestions for future video topics, and as long as I'm awake, I'm there to help. If you have any questions, please do leave them below, and as always, please do the YouTube stuff. Thank you, and I will see you next time.